Hello ladies and gentlemen, here I am presenting in this video the EQ7. It is the EQ that comes with Pro Tools that has some very great shortcuts and features that I use all the time and that I'm going to present today for you. Here's uh, one more time the track by Sarah Lenoro, produced by Jose Luis Pagan, please check them out. Here's the track without the EQ, I'm going to bypass, by the way, command click, bypass of the, any plugin. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a sunset, deeper than the ocean, gets never ending feelings of forever. In that track, I hear that there are some resonances in the low mids and that it can be brighter. So I'm going to enable the track against, again, I'm going to press command click or bypass, press on the bypass. Uh, I had already enabled on the 80 Hertz a high pass filter. I'm gonna actually add it to 24. I normally roll off all the low ends on vocals or elements that do not have any low end. Chances are that it recorded as a rumble. If I uh, actually be quiet, look at my track in here. I'm gonna be completely quiet for a second. You can see that there's still noise onto it, even though I have the a filter enabled. Many times that's a low end rumble that we may not hear it, but it is there. It could be caused by machineries or um, and that involves fans or anything like that. Anyway, going back to the track, um, I said that there was going to be some low end resonances. So a lot of people, what they do is bring the frequency up, then they're going to change the Q. What's the Q, the bandwidth? I'm going to change the bandwidth here by making it narrower, and then I'm gonna fish for those frequencies where I find it that is somewhere in the low mids. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a sunset. Right there. So that frequency I definitely do not like. And the first shortcut that I'm gonna show you is that if you press shift click, um, it's gonna bounce back, it's gonna reverse. So the boost is gonna become a negative. Look at this number, minus 13.9, it's gonna be now a negative. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a We lost a little bit of level, so I normally compensate for that. Gets never ending just so that we don't ever. fool ourselves. Never giving up Let's desire. listen to that. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a sunset. Deeper than the ocean. Gets never ending feelings of forever. Never giving up this life. I hope that you can hear that, how that resonance went away. And of course I can play with Some the amount, whiskey, well, how much yeah, reduction I want. A sunset, deeper than the and I can do that by either never any feelings of clicking and moving it, or by affecting the gain of that one. Then um, let's learn some shortcuts for that. The first one, we said shift click will inverse whatever value you have. The next one, option click will default that back to zero. So if you look at these settings, they're gonna go back to zero when I press option click on it. Okay, it went back to the default frequency, the default back to gain. The Q stays the same. And now I'm gonna show you another shortcut to maneuver that, which is control and either slide the mouse up changes the Q, the bandwidth, how much it would affect, or dragging the mouse down, it will narrow that Q. One more time, I'm gonna fish that frequency. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a sunset. Then I'm gonna shift it. Some strong as Maybe whiskey, I'm cutting too much. yeah, brighter than a sunset. It's more like deeper than the A good a rule of thumb is if you're cutting Cut on a narrow queue. If you're boosting, boost on a wider queue. Now I know the shortcut. So control, and I'm gonna boost it. That may be too much, but and that's something that I will do if I'm boosting. It's a narrow. It's a sorry. A general rule of thumb that again move the knobs until you like it. Whatever it is. There's a lot. A little bit also in the mid frequency. So one more time, I'm boosting, and uh, I'm narrowing. Some strong as whiskey, yeah, brighter than a sunset. A little bit of that. Deeper than the ocean, gets never ending feelings of forever. 
Never giving up this life. Um, Permanently doing it level. together. Doing it just. Last but not least, I'm gonna use a shelf. Something strong as whiskey. Yeah, brighter than a sunset. Deeper than the ocean. Gets never any like feelings that. of forever. Never giving up like this us. life. Permanently doing it together. Doing it just right. Definitely. So we're definitely improving that vocal track. Here are another, probably this is the shortcut that I like the most. Andrew Green at some point taught me this one. And, and I really, really like it. Which is, I'm going to narrow the cue again. I'm going to press Control, App Arrow. I'm changing this cue. But look at this shortcut. Some strong as whiskey. Yeah, brighter than a sunset. That went all bad. So I'm going to do it again. And that's because the cue was on uh, the widest instead of the narrowest. So here I am. I'm going to press Shift Control. And look what happens in here. I'm going to be able to solo the tracks. Instead of boosting, which is something that I don't like to do. This is what we were doing before. Boosting with a narrow cue and fishing. What problems with that is that uh, the problem there is that the ear gets used to that sound. And sometimes you end up liking it instead of cutting, instead of finding what you like to to cut so instead of that what you will do is actually I'm just gonna go on zero and I'm gonna press shift control click on the arrow and drag it and look what happens let's listen to that deeper than the ocean gets never any feelings uh -huh. of forever Bypass. never giving up this life Permanently doing it together, doing it just right. I definitely believe that we've improved this vocal. Now it's way more clear and present. One more time with the EQ. Some strong as whiskey, yeah. Bright. Without the EQ. Some strong as whiskey, yeah. Brighter than a sunset. Deeper than the ocean gets never ending feelings of forever. Saving for the game. Never giving up this life. One more time, I'm going to show you that last shortcut, which I really like and use all the time. Shift Control, click on the dot and drag it down. Look what does it does. It does. Especially now, we're going to go into those low frequencies that were worse when we started. Some. Mm -hmm. These were the first. Frequencies that we didn't like. And those were the other ones. This is a fully parametric EQ. It has high pass filter, low pass filter that I can enable if you want me. Okay, this is what it will do. Low pass filter. Yeah, brighter than a sunset. I can change the slope on both of them, which is the amount of dBs that will be cut by octave. And you can check uh, on how the slope will be less offensive as I change this to 18, 18 dBs of reduction per octave, or 12 or 6, they go on multiples of 6. And the same would apply for the top part. Then on the low frequency, you have a low shelf let me boost that okay so that's that means that starting at this point in this 100 hertz it will boost all the way to the bottom let me bypass the a uh, high pass filter so that you can see this is a shelf eq what how is that different to a peak eq let's put it on a peak a peak has a center frequency and it will go in a in an equal distant manner to the top and the bottom so it has a a beginning and an end on the shelf starts boosting at that frequency and it's going to keep on boosting or cutting depending on what you want to do until the end of the spectrum the same would happen if we have the high shelf high shelf will do the same again we can do either shelf or peak at the bottom okay or at the top and then we have the three mid frequencies that are fully parametric. We can change the bandwidth. How much is it being affected? We can make it very wide 
or narrow. We can change the frequency. And we can change the gain. It can be positive or it can be negative. So this is the EQ7, a fully parametric EQ. On top of that, it has an input switch and an output that I was using all the time just to compensate because of the fact that we were taking frequencies, we were losing gain. I'm a big uh, fan of comparing two things to the same level. So I was boosting to just compensate that the input and the output were the same. And last but not least, it has a polarity switch. Every time that you record an element with more than one microphone, you will always want to check for phase. This is the EQ7, a fully parametric EQ by Avid. It comes with Pro Tools. It's um, a very handy tool. It works very well, and I hope that you like it. I'll see you in the next video. We'll talk about compression. Cheers.